the whole world is going through a perilous time. I think there was a, a place where Paul wrote, he says, in the last days, perilous times will come. Men shall be hated, calling righteousness and righteous hatred. All of these, we are right there right now. We are in that moment where the book of Timothy, where Paul prophesied about hard times. And it, why is it a hard time? It's not a hard time for an unbeliever. It's not a hard time for a fornicator. It is not a hard time for a liar. It is not a hard time for a harlot. It is not a hard time for some of these ungodly, some of the ungodly politicians. It is not a hard time for, for those who live in sin, right? It's not at all because it's actually a blissful time for them to enjoy themselves in the flesh and uh, blossom in their sinful activities and ways of life. But for us who walk in righteousness, for us who you know, uphold the banner of his, of his word, for us who chose the narrow way, for us who chose the wilderness, for us who decided to you know, live in righteousness in an unrighteous world, for us who want to walk in the straight way, all right, to say no to the ferment of our body, no to the sin of the body, no to the sin of the spirit, and of course, no to the sin of the soul. It will be a very hard time because you will be hated. The sixth thing will single you out and cancel you. The sixth thing will object you. The system will oppress you. The system will just put you off. You will lose a lot in the physical. You will, you will lose a lot in the material world. Of course you will. Let nobody lie to you that everything is just going to go well. It is difficult right now to prosper materially in this time as a believer. It is difficult to have a blissful life in the natural or in the physical or in the material world right now. It is difficult without compromising your faith. But it's easy just to compromise and then you will excel. Just like Satan came to Jesus and tempted him and asked him, if you would compromise, just bow. Don't just do much. Just do it in the secret. You, you don't have to do it publicly. It's between you and me. Just, just bow. That's all. No one will see you. Still go back and preach. Just continue. All right? Just, just do it in the secret. See that? And just go home. Go home. Go home. You know, but Jesus knew that what you do in the secret is what will manifest in the physical. Your future is a function of your secret life. So your secret life awaits your future manifestations. And that's why whatever we do in the secret, we must ensure that it is within the jurisdictions of the righteousness of God. Because that which we think no one saw, or that which we think that no one will touch or behold, will definitely influence the outcome of our future.